thing. I wanted to get your take on this. Uh, you know, I guess I could call it a, a big fight. Thurman, Pacquiao. You know, I know you got good history with Thurman. You beat him in the amateurs. Um, do you think Thurman is Thurman of old, or do you feel like the experience of Manny Pacquiao could eventually knock out Thurman in that fight July 20th? Break it down for me. You know, Pacquiao definitely has age. Um, you know, time waits for no man. And But showing his recent bout against Bruna shows he's still got a lot of bounce in them big-ass calves he has. <laughs> you know? And uh, uh, Keith Thurman definitely needs to be, you know, worried and be cautious and have awareness because Pacquiao does have the experience. He's, he, I, you know, I don't know what his his pop is like, I meaning his power, because it did go the distance with Bruno, but his speed was still there, and he knows how to box. Mm. So I think it, it just boils down to timing for Keith Thurman. I don't know, you know, I haven't been paying attention to him in the ring or whatever to see what his time is like. So, you know, he's still young. He got timing on his, on his side, and he just needs to find a good rhythm to get, a, you know, to win the fight. Not worry about trying to, you know, you know, stop him or anything like that. If it comes, it comes. But Pacquiao's a smart guy. He's been in there with, you know, the top top fighters of the generation before me. Mm. Okay. So, so you you're leaning towards pa Pacquiao. And if he beats him, and if he beats him, and if Keith beats him, that's a good guy on his way out on his resume to say, yo, I fought Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, it wasn't at his prime, but he got in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, and that's. That's on itself. Mm. One one other thing that I did mention, uh, Keith Thurman, is because you know nowadays a lot of fans and even media will like to will, will always like to compare or, or make it synonymous with Thurman and Spence, because I'm pretty sure you know the news. Um, Golden Boy offered Errol Spence a offer to fight Canelo. I don't know if it was for September coming up or maybe sometime late this year. And Errol did say to my reporter that. Never go with the first offer. I told Thurman, you know, he, he you know, I don't want to say he erupted, but he did. He, he kind of got mad about it because he's basically saying, why is Canelo picking on welterweights and even junior welterweights? To give an example, like Amir Khan. And he basically said, why is Canelo doing that when, you know, he has, you know, he has guys in, at his respective weight class. Um, what, what do you say to that? And also Thurman said that maybe, maybe Canelo wants to fight these welterweights because those are the bigger names at, at welterweight. What do you say to that? Um, I say, let's, let's talk about Earl Spence real quick. Yeah. Earl Spence says, I mean, he, you know, Mikey Garcia challenged him. He takes the fight. Um, now Canelo is challenging him. He's talking about, he just said something about him not taking the first offer. Correct. And et cetera, et cetera. When Demetrius Andre brings up fighting uh, Earl Spence to come on up. Yeah. Uh, what does Earl Spence say? I should worry about the Tyler brothers. I should, um, uh, I don't, I, I, he, he, you know, he's not interested in it. Yeah. He's, um, um, I don't know, just excuses after excuses. And then from the fan side, why am I picking on him? This, this, and that. But da, 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 da. But let Canelo be. I understand, like, and then I understand it has to do with money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. we're all in it for the money. But at the same time, it's like <laughs> the money's there already. You know what I'm saying? The money's not going nowhere. And right. it's, it's it's like at the end of the day, it's like why everybody keeps staying away from Demetrius Andre. Yeah. So you're quick to try to get in the ring with Canelo, but you're not quick to get in the ring with Demetrius. Yeah. And now, as far as Keith Thurman saying, like the big names. I mean, Triple G's a big name. Danny Jacobs a big name. Yeah. David Chanko is a name. He's a he's a hell he's a, a a good fighter. You got you know the David Lemieux. You okay. have uh, Billy Joe Saunders. You okay. had I mean you know he went up to over sixty eight, but he was at sixty at that time. Correct. Um, you have you, you still have Walter Cockwell Dockwell out there mm -hmm. that. Could, he just came off a knockout win. Um, 
So I don't, you know, I don't understand Keith Thurman saying about how if there's bigger names at the welterweight, but at the same time, Keith Thurman used to fight at 154 pounds mm. in the amateurs. Okay. Makes so sense. it's like it's like at the end, it's like at the end of the day, yeah, Mary Khan, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, Kel Brook coming up to fight Triple G, you know, everybody's putting their life on the line and want to show if they can take, you know, on another division. So if Keith Thurman feels like that's the case, then why don't Keith Thurman come on up? Wow. Yep. So like when it turns about coming up specifically one weight class, like 54, 60, or just just move up in general. Yeah, move, yeah, move up. Like yeah. honestly, everybody has to move up eventually. We can't stay young forever. Correct. You know, that, that we can't is... make that way for everyone. So I don't know why he will come out his mouth saying like, you know, the bigger names at the 154 when it's only Sean Porter, Kevin Crawford, Danny Garcia, Spence, and a Keith Thurman. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's you know the biggest. It sounds like it's close to a middleweight division. And, they're only seven pounds difference. Yeah. In the sense. So, you know, and then you got Jav Hood, you got Tony Havison, you do have one of the Chavo brothers. Mm. You know, you got Laura. You got a bunch of guys. You got a bunch of guys. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, like I said, if, if um, Mikey Garcia is willing to jump two weight classes up to fight Earl Spence, Kel Brick is willing to jump up to 160 to fight Triple G, Amir Khan did it with Canelo. There's no reason why Keith Thurman can't do it or Earl Spence can't do it. Mm, correct, correct. You know, talking about 